So a lot of people ask me, what's the difference, say, between an instructor, a specialty instructor, maybe a master instructor, or an instructor trainer? Well, let's find out together. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Click this little subscribe button over here and make sure you click that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is breaking down the rank structures of dive professionals through a particular training agency. Though the training agency that we're gonna be looking at is Scuba Schools International, otherwise known as SSI. We're gonna start at the dive guide rank and we're gonna go all the way up to the top level of professional diving. And we're gonna look at what each rank's goals and uh, jobs are. What what are they, what do they do? You know, what does a dive guide do? What does a dive master do? What's the difference between a dive guide and a dive master? And what are we going to take it all the way up the ranks, even beyond my current level, which is an instructor trainer. So without further ado, let's get into the ranks. So the first level that we want to look at is the dive guide level. Now dive guide, there's actually two parts. There's a professional dive guide and there's the non-professional dive guide. The non-professional dive guide is someone who has training in say in leading certified divers, but he's not really doing it for a career. He's not doing it to earn revenue. He's just leading family and friends. And so he's got the skill set that he needs to guide a dive, to brief a dive, and to keep people safe throughout that dive. Now, when you take it up one step above that, now you're getting into the professional side of dive guide. Now, dive guide, on the professional side, it's the exact same thing. You've got the knowledge, the skills, the equipment, and the experience to lead someone and to guide them, but you're doing it for pay. So with that being said, you're going to have to have some type of financial liability coverage on you, i.e. insurance, to be able to do this job safely. But in short, a dive guide does this just that. He guides certified divers and briefs them just prior to a dive. All right, guys, so the next level that we're going to look at is the Dive Master Certification. And one of the unique things about SSI that really sets him, across, or sets him apart from everybody else is the fact that they don't charge for the Dive Master Program. This is a free certification. There are prerequisites that you must have prior to earning the Dive Master Certification, but it's a recognition level. That just simply means you're not paying to get it processed to become a dive master. What are some of the prerequisites? So, well, you've got to be a certified dive guide. You have to have a certain number of dives under your belt. You have to have their science of diving, which is a physics and physiology course. You've got to have that certification. And of course, you also need your professional liability insurance. Now, with that being said, a lot of people do not consider dive masters actual instructors because all they're doing is leading and guiding dives or they're assisting with training and things like that. But through the SSI system, dive masters are instructors. Not only can they teach the snorkel or the snorkeling program, they can also teach certain ecology programs as well, which are specialty certifications. And as training specialists, teaching specialty certifications and actually issuing certifications, then by definition alone, that dive master is an instructor. And this is one thing that I tell new dive masters, when you get that rating, go ahead and get your specialty instructors through the ecology programs and start teaching. It's just going to build up your repertoire, it's going to get your numbers up, and and it's going to give you some teaching experience for whenever you're ready to take it to the next level for that ITC program. All right, so the next two that we're going to look at is the Assistant Instructor Program and the Instructor Program. And this is one course, if you will. It's called ITC, which is an instructor training course, but it is broke up into two different parts. And there are several reasons that you may would want to break it up versus doing it all at once. Uh, for one, let's say that you are a dive master. You became the training specialist. You've been teaching for a while. You've got some specialties under your belt or specialty students under your belt. Then you could actually take the ITC all at once. And basically, you're not really scared skipping the AI program, you're taking the program, but you're kind of skipping that certification. And one of the benefits of doing that is, well, you were a dive master, you were a training specialist, you were a specialty instructor, and you've got experience teaching. So that AI is really not needed at that point. You can go straight into the instructor and start teaching open water courses and whatever specialties you're certified to teach. However, if you don't become a training specialist at the dive master level, then I would encourage you to split your ITC up, become the assistant instructor, stay there for say six months to a year and get you some experience teaching before you go on to the full blown instructor course. So with that being said, what's the difference say between a, an assistant instructor 
in an instructor. Well, the assistant instructor can do basically everything that a dive master can, but they can also teach certain portions of the open water program. So they can teach all of the open water academic sessions, they can teach all of the pool sessions with the exception of three emergency ascent skills, and then they can evaluate surface skills during the open water training dives. Now what they can't do is actually go under and evaluate the underwater skills that the student must do to say get certified. That's left up to the instructor to do. So that's the biggest difference between an AI or an assistant instructor and the instructor. The instructor can teach the whole gambit, if you will. However, the AI is kind of limited on what he can teach. Now, there is a benefit to being an AI. Obviously, once again, you're getting more experience teaching, you're earning revenue so that you can help pay off the rest of your ITC or even your instructor evaluation. But if you've done that as a dive master, if you've become that training specialist, then that AI portion, you can pretty much skip the certification part of it and go straight, say, from dive master to an instructor. So the next level that we're going to look at, of course, is the specialty instructor. Now, this is another freebie from SSI. They don't actually charge you to become a specialty instructor. Now, yes, you will be charged, say, to become an individual specialty and in whatever you want to teach, but the specialty instructor rating is nothing more than a recognition level. And this actually goes all the way back to the dive master program. As I said, as a dive master, you can become a training specialist or ensure a specialty instructor to teach certain specialties. So you can either do this at the dive master level, the assistant instructor level, or the instructor level as well. Now the next level that we're going to look at is the advanced open water instructor. Now don't get confused with this because you can teach advanced courses as an open water instructor, but the advanced open water instructor is also a recognition level. This is not something you pay for, this is something that you earn through teaching. Now an advanced open water instructor through SSI is an open water instructor who can teach up to four specialties including the rescue diver program which you can teach as an open water instructor as well and then you've actually issued 15 specialty certifications. Now, I try to tell people that if you focus at the dive master level on becoming a training specialist and you teach up to 15 specialty courses, by the time you work your way all the way through your ITC program and you become an open water instructor, you will automatically become an advanced open water instructor by default. So this is another great benefit to becoming a training specialist or a specialty instructor at that dive master level or even at the assistant instructor level. It doesn't really matter which one you do it at, but you're gaining experience through teaching so that when you do reach that open water level, not only do you have an experience as an instructor or a specialty instructor, you're also going to automatically be boosted to the advanced open water instructor level as well. And by the way, that's a recognition level once again, and it's free. Now the next level that we're going to look at is the Dive Master Instructor Certification. This is another freebie that SSI actually gives you. This is not something that you can go out, pay, take a course on, and earn a certification. This is a free recognition instructor certification. Now I don't want you to be confused because you don't have to be a Dive Master Instructor to teach the Dive Guide or Dive Master program. But basically you do have to meet certain criteria or certain prerequisites to reach that. Those prerequisites are, of course, you got to be an advanced open water instructor. You have to also be a science of diving instructor. You've had to taught a certain number of open water courses, a certain number of rescue courses, a certain number of dive guide courses, and a certain number of specialty courses before you can actually become a dive master instructor. But once again, once you've met those prerequisites, it's free. It doesn't cost you a dime. It's automatically generated through SSI to earn that, say, that recognition level certification. All right, so the next levels that we're going to look at is the assistant instructor trainer, the master instructor, and the instructor trainer. Now, I'm going to take the master instructor away just temporarily because that's another recognition level. It's free. It doesn't cost you a dime. And we're really just going to be focusing on the assistant instructor trainer and the instructor trainer level, and we're going to look at what the difference is, and then we will bring that master instructor back in and tell you why it's important. So the assistant instructor trainer can do everything that a dive master instructor can do. He can teach all the levels down below him, and he can teach dive masters, but he can also teach you how to become an assistant instructor. So he is teaching the methodology of how to teach, and he's certifying you at that level. So when you get done with this assistant instructor trainer, you are an assistant instructor, basically. So 
how do we transition, say, from that to a full instructor trainer? And what does the instructor trainer do that the assistant instructor trainer don't? Well, the instructor trainer not only can teach the same thing that the AIT or the assistant instructor trainer can, but he also teaches you how to evaluate new instructors. So when you become an assistant instructor, you're teaching the open water program, you're just not learning how to evaluate. When you become an instructor, you're learning also how to teach, but you're also learning how to evaluate. Well, that's kind of the differences between an AIT and an IT. The AIT is teaching you how to teach, the IT is teaching you how to evaluate as well. Now, to transition from the assistant instructor trainer to the instructor trainer, there is a middle level called the master instructor, and that's another recognition. Once you have taught so many courses as an AIT, then you automatically become a master instructor, and that is a prerequisite for you to become an instructor trainer. All right, so the last level that we're going to look at as far as what you can actually take a class on is the instructor certifier. Now, the instructor certifier works hand in hand with the instructor trainer and with the assistant instructor trainer. And I'll try to break it down as easily as I can to make it easy for you to understand. The AIT, the assistant instructor trainer, basically he is teaching you how to teach. He's teaching you how to become the assistant instructor. The instructor trainer, he actually comes in and basically what his job is, is to teach you how to evaluate those students. So he is to take you from the assistant instructor up to the open water instructor level. Now, unfortunately, at the end of the ITC or the instructor training course, the IT can't actually certify you. You still have to go in front of an independent instructor certifier for him to come in and evaluate you. It's basically a way for SSI to have a really good quality control program. So the instructor certifier comes in and he gives you a final test. It's a final written exam. It's also a final uh, teaching academic exam. It's also a final uh, pool or confined water teaching uh, exam and then a final evaluation in open water. And once you've met those requirements and that IC or that instructor certifier signs off on you, at that point is when you actually become an instructor. So so the IC, the IT, and the AIT all work together to make you a dive instructor. All right, guys, so I do want to give you two bonus levels real quick. And unfortunately, these last two are not something that you can go out and take a course on and actually earn. These are actually given by SSI to employees alone. That's the ITM and the ITD. So the ITM is an international training manager, and the ITD is an international training director. So one kind of leads how all training through the agency goes on a global scale, and the other one does it at a regional scale as well. And we have two here locally that we work with very very closely but once again the international training manager and the international training director that's not something that you can go out and take a course on and become this is once you become an employee of SSI and you work your way through the ranks that's kind of what their roles are however guys I really hope you enjoyed this video I hope it kind of clears up some of the misconfusion of what are the different instructor ratings so when you see somebody who is an instructor versus an instructor trainer or a specialty instructor or a dive master instructor now you have a better understanding of what their actual ranks are and what they can teach as well. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. If you want to see more instructor-based courses or want to know more about what it takes to become an instructor, let me know down in the comment section what you would like to see a video on and I'll try to get that produced for you as well. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.